It's time now for Coffee with Coach presented by Duncan. The Friars earned a shootout victory in the tie against Boston University on Friday night. Went up to BU and dropped that one on Saturday. Coach, looking into Friday night's game, your team was able to hold BU at bay. Come back in that game. What did you see from your team Friday night? Uh, a lot of guts. You know, I, I didn't think it was our best hockey this weekend uh, either night. I thought, uh, you know, we, we had a lot of guys uh, get sick last week and our practices weren't great. We were missing some guys. Um, they tried to gut through it on the weekend and I give the guys a lot of credit. You know, their their hearts were in the right place. Um, but, we, you know, it wasn't great hockey from us. And, you know, we, that Friday night game, we managed to, to steal two points or at least earn two points. I thought we had a couple shifts there at the end of the third that we probably uh, would like to have back because I think we had some real good looks at the net to, to win the game. And now, unfortunately, Saturday night, you head up to Boston and don't get the result you're looking for in that game. What what did you see in that game Saturday night? Well, I said we had a good start. Um, we had a really good start. Uh, and then uh, I think uh, they had one shift where they kind of changed momentum. They got their top line out against one of our one of our lines and uh, put us in our zone for about 50 seconds. I thought that switched the momentum of the period. Um, you know, I thought we were going to get through it and we took a penalty. Um, and we probably need to come out of that period 1-1. And then we had, you know, we, we had a lot of power plays in the second and the third, and we went 0 for 6 on the road. And, um, you know, that's something that if, if we're going to be successful this time of year, we have to get one or two on the power play and, and have a tie game going into the third period. And we had a good second period, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, they scored in the second period, and we didn't. One of the bright spots from this weekend is you had a trio of freshmen Hudson, Graham, and Tanner really contribute late in that game against BU Friday night. Coach, at this point in the season, I'm sure as a coach, you must be happy to see your freshmen not only contributing in clutch moments, but at this point in the season where every game is so critical. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they're freshmen anymore. They've had enough experience. We're, we're at game, you know, 29 now. So, um, you know, right now it's it's more about them being ready to uh, ready to perform and, and knowing what's uh, what it takes them. It's more about them being mentally fresh and. And, and ready to go, having their legs, having their jump, uh, having their battle level. And now you got UMass Lowell this weekend for one game over in their neck of the woods. You split a weekend series with North, Northeastern recently. Coach, what have you seen from them lately? Well, I mean, we just played them. So, um, you know, they're a hardworking team, very hardworking team, get to the net really well, um, you know, and, and I, I thought it was one of our weekends where we really worked. And so uh, we know if we're, if we're gonna have any success against this team, it's gonna be based upon our, our work ethic um, and our battle level because, uh, you know, Norm Bazin's team don't take a night off. Well, Coach, best of luck this weekend and we'll see you next Thursday here at home. Coach, best of luck. Thanks, Zach.